Okay, we will uh, continue on with our uh, communications uh, and announcements, and uh, we'll start with our clerk, please. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Our next passport night will be held on Thursday, August 4th, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. here in the Town Hall Auditorium. Uh, we will be processing applications for the U.S. Passport Book and the U.S. Passport Card, but we will not be processing applications for the New York State Enhanced Driver's License. With the Passport Book, you are able to travel anywhere worldwide by air, land, or sea. A passport card is valid for land and sea crossing between the U.S. and Canada, Mexico, Bermuda, and the Caribbean only. And for um, additional information, please go to the town's website at www.penfield.org or the Monroe County website at www.monroecounty.gov or contact me by calling 340-8629. I have one last announcement. Um, please consider the potential risks involved when setting a have a heart trap, uh, especially with this uh, uh, current heat index. Uh, please be responsible in the care and humane treatment of trapped animals until they are turned over in the custody of our animal control. Uh, a few simple rules to remember are to not set traps in full sunlight unless you're constantly monitoring the trap. Traps should be checked uh, frequently, ideally every one to two hours. Uh, come up with a contingency plan. If you're not going to be home designating someone to check the trap for you, remember not to leave a trap unattended for long periods of time. And please remember that the purpose of a have a heart trap is to humanely trap wildlife and not to let the animal die in the trap. And for more information, please contact the animal control uh, at 340-8616 or contact me at 340-8629. Thank you. Great, thank you. Councilman Quinn. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Good evening, everyone. Uh, in this heat wave, I hope everyone is staying cool and hydrated. Please drink lots of fluids, um, especially if you're going to attend one of our outdoor events at the amphitheater. The uh, amphitheater series rolls on. Uh, tomorrow evening uh, at 7 o'clock is going to be the second uh, concert this year in the Kids Fest Thursdays. Uh, last week was a wonderful night when the Dinner Dogs performed. Uh, many kids and many parents were there. Uh, uh, watching their kids actually run around the stage and uh, interacting with the, uh, the dinner dogs. Tomorrow evening is going to be Alan Hopkins and the Canal Crew. It begins at 7 o'clock right here at uh, Veterans Memorial Park at the Amphitheater. Uh, the concerts are free, so please bring lawn chairs, bring a picnic, um, bring lots of water because tomorrow is supposed to be the, the warmest day of the week. And uh, enjoy the show. They're wonderful, uh, wonderful evenings. So that is all I have this evening. Thank you. Metzler. Thank you. Uh, in addition to the series at the amphitheater here at uh, Veterans Memorial Park, we also have movie nights. Um, Town of Penfield movie nights are being shown at Rafis Park on Five Mile Line Road. The showings are on Friday nights, and this is a free showing. Uh, bring your family and friends for movies under the stars all summer long. Remember to bring lawn chairs and blankets if you, if you uh, wish to sit down and watch the movie. Uh, the next showing is on July 22nd, again at Rafis Park. The Karate Kid will be shown, and the movie will be starting at dusk at approximately 8.30 p.m. Councilman Quinn, uh, um, talked about the Dinner Dogs, the Kids Fest Thursdays uh, series at our amphitheater. We also have a cool jazz series on Tuesdays at 7 o'clock at the Penfield Amphitheater. Coming up on July 26th is the Jim Dozer Group, again uh, at 7 o'clock at the amphitheater. I think there's some video that's going to be coming up on the screen shortly uh, with respect to the oil sto and stone road project. Um, that was just completed within the last week or so by our town crews. You may have noticed them out putting uh, stone and oil to further the, the life of uh, some of our town roads here. So we ask that you be careful when you're driving on those roads, pay attention to the signs um, while they're um, still in the oil and stone condition. You may also notice in the next, uh, uh, in the near future, some of our town sweepers will be out there cleaning up uh, some uh, residue and debris, so please be cautious of the town crews when they are trying to get that work done um, and just be, again, uh, careful driving on those roads. Great. Thank you. 
Uh, we have a couple of more announcements, uh, then we'll come up on our public participation. Uh, there are three ways to uh, participate if you're in the audience. Uh, you can address the, uh, the board. Uh, you can log on to penfield.org, or if you dial uh, 340-8771, it will be put through uh, here. A couple of announcements uh, that I have is uh, we do have uh, some uh, video. Uh, Judge uh, Jim Mully. Uh, uh, applied for a grant, a judicial uh, grant. Uh, he was able to, uh, to receive that uh, to help uh, update our uh, courtrooms. Uh, that work was uh, completed uh, last week. Uh, a great job uh, by the, uh, the crew that, uh, that came in to do that work. Uh, that certainly uh, takes a 20 plus year old, uh, close to 25 year old uh, facility and uh, updates that uh, to the current judicial uh, standards. And uh, uh, my thanks uh, to Judge Mully and uh, Judge Lomenzo, who coordinated that, uh, but Judge Mully, who uh, actually went after that and uh, was able to receive uh, that grant. Uh, the last uh, two items that I have, uh, one, uh, uh, today I had an opportunity to be one of 25 speakers at the Congressional and State uh, Legislative Redistricting uh, public hearing that was held uh, at City uh, uh, Chambers and uh, one of uh, three or four elected officials that had an opportunity to speak uh, about that and what that means uh, to the Monroe County and specifically the Penfield uh, area. So it was uh, my uh, honor and privilege to, uh, to attend and uh, to offer up uh, some thoughts and comments about that. And then the last item, we've received a number of uh, uh, emails that have come in uh, regarding Cheney and Philbrick Park and uh, specifically around um, uh, being heavily used in a lot of litter. So uh, we're working very closely, uh, not only with uh, the Monroe County Sheriff's Department, uh, our local security, uh, and uh, trying to get the word out that uh, it is a carry in and carry out park. Uh, we've uh, provided some extra containers there and uh, just encourage uh, folks uh, to, again, uh, if you're gonna carry in, please uh, carry out. Councilman Moore. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. The Penfield Trails Committee will be hosting another free public hike at Ellison Park on Saturday, August 13th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Discover the off offbeat pathways and reveal the nature vistas uh, carved by the 10,000 years of the Rondecoit Creek flow. Please meet at the south entrance at 1008 Penfield Road and participants are asked to register ahead of time by calling 340-8655 just so they have a head count on who will be attending. Also, some good news for Penfield Little League. Um, the Penfield National All-Star Team has made it to District 4 Championship game held right here um, at the Penfield Zabcar Field. This is for the Little League World Series Tournament. Mm -hmm. Uh, they kicked off the game at 6 p.m. and game's currently going on right here at the Town Hall Complex, the Little League Fields, and we wish them well as the game's probably in, uh, in, the, in the few innings to the end. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. I have a couple of announcements. Um, back to the Amphitheater. On Saturdays, we have uh, entertainment there as well. In the next two weeks, July 23rd, Ruby Shoes will be playing at 7 o'clock at the Amphitheater. And on the 30th, Gatman Joan and his big band will be playing, and they're always a lot of fun. Well, both bands are a lot of fun. But, um, so please, you know, if you want to go out and have a good time and listen to some great music, come out to our Penfield Amphitheater and, and hear Ruby Shoes and Gatman Joni. And my other um, announcement is, I, as you know, I schedule monthly community chats. I had one last night, and my next one is going to be August 13th from 9 to 10.30 in the morning at Starbucks in the Four Corners. Uh, we have a video that's going to go up on um, the Oakwood Cemetery Walk. I believe Dave said he was going to put that up first. And um, last week, on Thursday, Kathy Knauer led us on a walk along um, Oakwood Cemetery. She pointed out, mis not miscellaneous, but um, different Civil War veterans um, graves. There are, there are quite a few. There's, I think, about 70 graves, but we went to about... Oh, about 10 of them. And she had little stories about different, um, how they lived, how they died. It was very interesting. And the, the fact that uh, the country is um, commemorating the sesquicentennial of the Civil War beginning this year for the next three years. This is um, Penfield sort of uh, leading that in this area about um, you know, our, our, our contribution, Penfield's contribution towards that, that war. And um, 
there was another video package, I believe um, Dave said he's going to show at the end of the show, where we went out, um, it's another Kathy Knauer moment, she, she speaks on this video, so we're going to wait until the end so you can hear her talk rather than me talk it over, but we all went to, what well, we all, the local history room, which I'm a, um, a member of uh, as a liaison, we went to a uh, virgin um, cemetery to find little Nellie who was this uh, she was the publisher of a newspaper when she was a child here in the Four Corners back in the 1800s and her uh, grave had been moved out to Bergen from Oakwood Cemetery and we didn't know where it was for for years and it was just recently discovered that she's there and, and uh, so it was kind of neat we went out there and they actually have a marker that says she's little Nellie so our town historian Kathy Canal is pretty thrilled about this information and um, you can hear a little bit about what she has to say at the end of our town board meeting. So, thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.